Hello and welcome to FIM. Uh, my name is Shahla Bakhtiari. Uh, I am midwife with more than 30 years of experience and currently working at Cambridge University Hospital. Um, I have got two different roles. Uh, I am at the moment professional delivery advocate lead. Uh, we call it just PMA. Um, the role of the PMA is helping midwives on monitoring, evaluation, and quality control. For example, um, if there is a method of some procedures coming with the audit to find out how successful and how helpful is those methods. Uh, other uh, aspects of the PMA's education and development, um, our team uh, helping with the midwives education and if there is any development needed and they seek help we help them and professional action for quality improvement um, for example if based on the monitoring and evaluation and the audit that we do if there is any um, gap for development and improvement um, regarding the national and international guidelines, we will help and we will undertake the projects. For example, one of the projects that recently uh, starting is OAC Care Bundle 2, which is a national project in the UK. Um, I will explain about that project later. And, um, and also clinical supervision, for example, if any midwife needs help with their uh, professional and personal development, and they need somebody to coach them, um, the PMA will come and help. Also, even if a midwife is involved with some incident, some event, that uh, they needed to have some support regarding the practice and the skills. We will have a um, restorative supervision meetings with them and then help them to go through and um, analyze the events. Um, uh, also, uh, I am a trained consultant midwife. Consultant midwives is um, the only aspects of midwifery exist in the UK. It is as the same as the level of the obstetricians consultant. Um, and there are uh, four different aspects of the consultant midwife. It's um, involved with the clinical expertise. For example, I am already a specialist midwife in perineal care and pelvic floor care. Um, so consultant midwives, they are clinical experts in a specific um, skills of the midwifery. Uh, also research, very, very involved and uh, undertaking some research when all of the consultant midwives have got very good knowledge um, of research and they are trained. Um, they have got degrees, master degrees or PhD and they know how to design a research project and how to undertake, uh, how to use the data, how to analyze the data, um, ethic aspects of the research, and how those research, how to choose the subjects that it is very important in quality of the care um, improvement. Uh, education also, um, consultant midwife, they, they teach as a lecturers, as their honorary lecturers in the universities, and they are very, very close um, colleagues with the university lecturers, and they play a very, very important role in midwifery education as well. Um, also, teaching is um, another aspect of um, consultant midwife being involved, teaching uh, midwives and um, obstetricians. Um, it's very, very um, rewarding aspects of the consultant midwife. Um, as I said, um, I am a specialist midwife in perineal care. I have been working in a special uh, clinic called uh, obstetric anal sphincter injuries. Uh, we have got this clinic that uh, we will look after um, women that sustain third and fourth degree tear after delivery and also if they have got the problem with the second degree and first degree repair after childbirth 
In the clinic, I am working independently but alongside the two urogynecology consultants and also physiotherapists. We will um, see them uh, 12 weeks after delivery and sustaining this um, third and fourth epithelial specifically, making plan for the future pregnancies and mode of the delivery. Also, because we are a referral center in East of England, uh, we will see um, other cases, as I said before, um, complication with the repair of the second uh, or um, first equator, especially in um, labia's area. Uh, we all, um, as a midwife, are um, promoting normality and in absence of a risk factor, vaginal deliveries would be the best mode of the delivery that we recommended we all as a midwife. However, 85% of first-time moms, they experience some sort of the uh, perineal, vaginal or um, labial laceration. And uh, this laceration sometimes um, affects the woman's life forever. And in those cases, there is not much we can do to correct them. So my job with the experience of being a consultant midwife and experience being a specialist midwife in pelvic floor and perineal care uh, is to achieve uh, this um, for the women. Um, and we need to look at the wider picture of the perineal care. It is not just a snapshot of the time that they come 12 weeks after delivery coming to us. Um, but the question is how we can um, look at the wider and bigger picture and help women's life um, and improve their quality of life as a midwife, specifically in perineal care. Um, there are um, different way of looking at it, but we cannot um, ignore the way um, a, um, a systematically way of looking at it. We can um, uh, also look at how we can diagnose these lacerations and uh, when we can diagnose these lacerations and how we can repair them and what is the best technique to do the repair and is there any way that we can prevent because sometimes these tears, especially OEC um, third and fourth detail, make such a huge um, impact in women's life and if we cannot uh, recognize them and um, timely manner with the timely manner repair them and know the technique the right technique um, and its healing process happens without the correct repair um, obviously we cannot do much about it um, and that's why nothing is better than prevention. So there are lots of different way of preventing these tests in the first place. Um, the diagnosis of any perineal or vaginal labial laceration, we need to have the good knowledge of um, pelvic floor muscles. Uh, also very, very good communication with our women. Um, because when they're coming in and we are the caregiver for them in a very, very um, a special moment of their life when they're giving birth, they, are, they feel very vulnerable. And um, we are the caregiver, we are the main and first um, step of point of care for them. So we should have a very, very good knowledge of the pelvic floor muscles, good knowledge of their preparation, when after delivery and delivery of the baby and the placenta, how we can recognize um, with our good knowledge of um, and education. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, last but not least, good knowledge of the systematic examination, how we can undertake this examination. Um, when we diagnose these tests, how can we repair them? Um, over the years of my career, as a, um, the same numbers of the midwife, um, they have got different ways of the repair of these lacerations. And um, if you have a method of the repair and uh, you have followed by um, uh, 
um, your lady and there is no consequences, there is no complications. So uh, my advice would be a stick with your method. But if you are not sure about the technique or you have been complications with your practice, um, or you would like to improve your practice, search for the best methods available with based evidence. Um, the question is, is there any way um, to prevent these uh, lacerations? The good news is yes. Uh, there are evidence that midwives can play a very important role to um, educating women for prevention perineal laceration. This education comes from the hardworking working researchers that were, uh, we are passionate about women's health and improving quality of life of women. Also, um, let's not to forget risk assessment is a key prevention uh, of diagnosis of these um, laceration. Um, how we can achieve all this good practice? You can study as hard as you can. You can research as hard as you can. Look at the anatomy of the pelvic floor uh, by looking at the atlas, by looking online, looking at the books, and knowing the uh, muscles of the pelvic floor uh, till you can memorize all of them and becoming uh, effortless. When you look at the laceration, you can map the muscles and create the maintain um, of the anatomy of the pelvic floor um, muscles and not mentioning that um, boundaries um, of the midwifery limitation. For example, we as a midwife, we cannot um, repair third and four degree laceration, but we can recognize and diagnose them and then ask for help and the obstetrician can do the repair. So at the end of the day, we are just looking after our women and we don't want to have any misdiagnosis of third and fourth degree term. So how we can achieve this? By attending uh, to the good quality hands-on workshops um, and um, spending time, educate yourself um, and be very, very careful all of the tips and the tricks that I have mentioned in this um, short presentation. You can take it with you and then use them. And one day I was like you and um, with the hard working, with the practicing, um, I, I did that. So uh, you can do it too. And thank you very much.